good day it's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm and in this session I'm going to walk you through how to figure out the ARP refresh rate of a device so this is going to include a few steps first is going to be going through Wireshark how to configure it and then from there we're going to go through some packet analysis tips and tricks in Wireshark alright so here's our trace file all I did was I opened a command prompt uh, you know what here I'll just show you so here's what I did ping 192.168.1.1 my default gateway and I just let that run uh, the only thing that I, I did to make it run continuously is dash T which will now run forever while I did that I started a trace and from here I wanted to find um, my ARP packets so that's going to involve a few steps the first thing we need to do is figure out uh, my MAC address my IP that sort of thing so if I just take a look here you'll see there's a ping request from 1.115 um, you'll see in the write-up that I'm using a capture filter so the capture filter is quite simple ARP or ICMP that way I don't see any HTTP email all that other nonsense flying around the network it's fairly I'm gonna say clean trace and that's why you only see ARPs and ICMPs in this trace file so from there here's me 1.115 and it says Intel COR and this MAC address that ends with F7. So let's see if we can find my ARP packet. I'm going to simply come up here. Uh, before I do anything in Wireshark, just a few steps, a few tips, a few tricks. Number one, this is, has colors, and depending on the protocol and what's going on, you might see a whole bunch of colors. It might even look like a Christmas tree. So let's turn off the colors for a second. There you go. And save yourself a brain cell. Second thing is this bytes area at the bottom. We don't need that. So view packet bytes that can go away and we can even squish this down a little bit just to give us some more screen real estate and there you go back to the display filter ARP ARP and now I can see there's the source it's talking to me and this is probably the default gateway I don't want that I want me talking to it and if you take a look on the right hand side it's kind of all scrunched up and kinda of hard to read because the screen obviously doesn't let us move that far over I'm going to use the resize right there, resize packet list. Click, and now I can actually read everything. So there's me talking to them, and you can see this is not an ARP request, because if it was, it would say who has, who has. So I'm looking for a packet that I sent that starts with who has. So even this, see, who has, who has 1.26, tell me. Well, I'm trying to find the one that who has 192.168.1.1, not 26. That's what I'm trying to find. So let's make this a little bit easier on ourselves. From the one packet that I do know is mine, I can say, you know what, let me find all the ARP packets from me. Now, how am I going to do that? Just slide this guy back up a little bit. Within the ARP header here, and if it is collapsed, just open it up, and you can come over here and find yourself, sender IP address. From there, I'm just going to right click, apply as filter, and select it. Now, these are all the ARP packets from me, not necessarily ARP commands, but just all the ARP packets. So now we're going to try to find who has the IP address that we're looking for. And if we move down far enough, there it is who has 192.168.1.1. Now, for the people catching on to this, you could simply do a target IP filter and then play with it. But I'm just trying to show you the, I'm going to say the least uh, complicated way, the most straightforward way for me personally. And then you'll develop your own way of doing this. So target IP, I'm going to right click on that, apply as a filter, and select it. Boink. Now I can see there's me, him, who has 1.1, tell me and I can see some other stuff in there. So now you're getting a sense of how you can whittle this down uh, to only show you what you want to see. Now again, I'm picking away at a bunch of little things to just illustrate how to go through the process. After a while you'll see that you can just click on a couple of, maybe even one filter, bang, you're done. So that's not the point though. And now I want to just find the ARP command packets or request packets. So let's find this. Who has my default gateway? Tell me. So I'm going to highlight that guy. I'm going to move down here and you'll see that it says opcode request. Watch this. Right click, apply, and selected. Now I only see from me to 
the default gateway, who has, who has, who has. The last thing we need to do is make sure we have the right time format. As you can see, this just kind of increments. That's not helping us. We want to know how often this comes out. View, time display format seconds since previously displayed packet because we have a filter right now so don't use captured use displayed and there you are so we have 38 and a half 39 and a half 39 38 and a half there you go you start to see there's a pattern developing so what I wanted to do was find out how um, often my Windows 8 laptop refreshed its cache and as you can see it works out to be 39 ish and change there you go. Have a good day. Bye for now.